nodules and mosses. Focus on the lung parenchyma in both lung fields. You can see multiple nodular opacities. Usually a nodule is defined as round or irregular opacity that is either well defined or poorly defined but is less than 3 cm in diameter. If it is less than 3 cm in diameter, it is a nodule. If it is greater than 3 cm in diameter, it is usually referred to as MOS lesion. In this x-ray, you can see many nodules here, 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 here. Some are smaller and some are larger. So most of the nodules are found in the mid and the lower zones. So based on these findings, uh, one of the first differential diagnosis would be a secondary lung. It is metastatic uh, disease of the lung. So here, uh, since the size of the lesions vary, it is called as a temporal heterogeneity uh, due to shower of tumor cells at different points in time. The and there's different. The lung will be seeded with the tumor cells at different point in time. Some some of these nodules started maybe one year ago. Some started six months ago, and some started one month ago. So there might be a, a difference in the sizes of the lesion. These sort of uh, images, you might need to have a CT scan to really find out what is the uh, characteristics of each of these nodules to find the differential diagnosis. So here you have a opacity, just more or less rounded. The margin appears smooth. Uh, there is no uh, yeah, bronchogram inside. So likely a mass lesion, and it appears greater than 3 centimeters in diameter, likely a mass lesion. So whenever you see this uh, a lesion like this, um, it's very difficult to find out whether it is a malignant lesion, benign lesion, or is it a consolidation. Based on x-rays, you always need a CT scan to get a better understanding about this thing. Though we can not definitely say based on just x-ray images or even the CT scan. So some of the characteristics of uh, malignant nodules include one, they usually tend to have larger sizes, uh, but even in small sizes, you can you can have a malignant uh, pathology. So second thing is the shape. Uh, usually the malignant uh, mosses have uh, irregular shape, speculated margins, and calcification can be present. And the, cal the, the pattern of calcification is irregular, diffuse, punctate, or eccentric calcification in, term, in, in malignant masses. And other thing is the growth rate and the doubling time is quite fast in malignant nodules and masses. So based on this, we can find. So as such, in X-ray, we can suspect that there is some lesion. So the lesion is quite visible. So is uh, post uh, probably some thoracotomy for some surgery has been done. Anyway, this is the mouse lesion. So in this x-ray, observe carefully, compare the right and the left lung. You can see that there is a difference here. So here you see this thing, it's well aerated, but here it's not like that. And then if you note carefully, you can see a lesion up here. This is the margin of this lesion. So this area it's difficult to find because there is confluence of many bony structures so you assume that it is quite normal but uh, it is not normal uh, here is a mass lesion so i would advise you to focus on this intercostal spaces here so see this intercostal space and see this intercostal space and similarly down here you see this intercostal space and so here uh, you have to compare this with this thing. So definitely there is a mass lesion in the apical area of the left lung. So there is a mass lesion in the hilar area. This is easy to miss. When you look at superficially, it is easy to miss this thing. But if you carefully observe this thing, there is a smooth marginated lesion in the hilar area, right? These need a CT scan for further evaluation, but uh, you can see this thing. There's bilateral pleural effusion as well. 
so this is the lesion so every every time when you look at the x-ray see the hyalur area for any sort of mass lesions so the uh, same lesion magnified so you are having that lesion up here so the lesion is quite obvious here there is a central cavitation as well usually if it is a malignant lesion uh, you can have a thick walled cavity lesions in malignant lesions so this is a lesion and then there is a central cavitation in this x-ray compare right and left you are seeing an opacity here right and the interesting thing here is that if you see the ribs here so you have a well-defined rib here right and if you see here you're not seeing able to see the ribs right only ribs start somewhere here 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 the ribs are there but in this area you don't see any ribs this means that the mass lesion uh, basically has involved the ribs as well and has resulted in the destruction of the ribs it's very obvious you see this ribs here here it's not there so the it's a big mass lesion in, involving the rib with the rib involvement another x-ray with the hyalur mass i think once you keep seeing this type of x-rays you'll get very familiar with that and um, and tend to pick up these things much more uh, frequently all you need to do is keep seeing more and more x-rays with the, some sort of a deliberate training and then it you won't miss these kind of findings this is uh, related to a carcinoma this patient had adenocarcinoma and this is a lymphangitis carcinomatosis where you have reticulations and also nodules small nodules with reticulations in a background the background history of adenocarcinoma it's a lymphangitis carcinomatosis uh, picture both nodules and interlobular septal thickening is found in these cases so that's it so basically uh, know the definition that nodule is something that is round or irregular opacity which is well defined or poorly defined but less than 3 cm in diameter anything that is larger than 3 cm in diameter is a mass and in every x-ray just look at the scan for the pulmonary parenchyma and see if there is any mass lesion or a nodule that will be very helpful thank you